A brother in the Lord yesterday asked me if I'd had any revelation from that passage in Matthew chapter 24 where Jesus talks about leaving whatever is at your house. And while I was while I was praying about it, something came to my mind that I want to share. First, I want to read the passage in Matthew chapter 24. I'm going to start in verse 15. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down and take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. I want to give you the revelation that the Lord gave me about this. And what I'm going to read is Matthew chapter 12, verse 29. And you can read that whole chapter because Jesus is you know, talking about a house that's divided against itself can't stand. But in 29, he says, How can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? And and then he will plunder the house. We know that Jesus was talking about the devil's kingdom, the devil's house. When Jesus is speaking about a house, for good or for evil, he is speaking about someone's dominion or the area that they possess, their possessions, their things, not just physically, not their physical dwelling, although that included, but the things that they hold on to, the whole, the, everything in their life that they hold dear to themselves. And when Jesus calls us out of somewhere, the world, your job, whatever he calls you to leave, you don't go back to those things. Remember Lot when he was called out of the area he was living. He was told to leave and not to look back. And what happened? His wife looked back and she was turned into a pillar of salt. But in these last days, we have to make sure that we're really hearing from Jesus. And whatever he calls us out of, whatever he tells us to do, we have to do that without turning back to the things that we did possess, whatever that is. And if you're running back to the government for your provision, if you're running back to your work for your provision, you're running back into your house for your provision, whatever that is, you're going to be destroyed by the world. But if we listen to Jesus and follow his calling out of the world, he's going to protect us. That doesn't mean we're not going to die for our faith. It doesn't mean that there's not going to be martyrs because we know that True, believer, true believers in Jesus will die for their faith. But it does mean that Jesus will protect us until the very end. He will be with us. He'll be with us through trials, through tribulations, and whatever happens, our lives are in his hand. So the question is, will you trust Jesus with your life? Are all your possessions and everything you own Have you surrendered that to Jesus? Is your house with the Lord or is your house with the devil?